Good morning and welcome back to Vlogmas. Today, I think is day seven of Vlogmas. Today's the seventh, it's Thursday. This vlog will probably go through Saturday. So gear up, gear in and get ready for a fun couple of days with me. Right, we are ready for the day. Got the makeup, got the hair done. And I made a to-do list and I already checked one of those things off. If there's anyone out there who has ADHD and you have a hard time like, I don't know, just doing life, making to-do lists is one of the best tools that I have in my arsenal. Even if it's like tiny little tasks, write them down because it feels really rewarding to be able to mark things off on your list, even if it's a tiny little task. So I switched the laundry. That means I get to mark that off my list, period. The next three things on my to-do list involve me leaving the house. I gotta stop by Walgreens, Target. I think that's it. I think I can get multiple of my trips done at Target. I'm looking for an inhaler and I have no idea where to find one. Found it, got it. Primatine Mist. Just pulled up to Target. I'm here for two things, water, decorations. They didn't have any decorations there, like no ornaments or anything. So I only got the water, but now we're on the way home. Slay. This room is an utter mess right now, but it is water change day for the plants. I can't show them to you because YouTube will age restrict my video if I do. But Helga and Ingrid, they're doing all right. All right. Now, the next thing on the to-do list is I need to film a post for Instagram. Give you a little BTS on that. It's not like a skit or anything. But the reel is for cake and they actually, um, the glow is available now. Just a heads up. I know some of you all saw me unbox them and do a little review, but they're available now. They weren't available at the time. More of the hoodies. These are so high quality and nice guys. I'm gonna refilm that. I didn't like how it turned out. <laughs> oh my God, I need to go lay down now. Oh. I'm making some dinner right now, but I need to go to the store and get some potatoes. My boyfriend has another basketball game tonight. This is actually his last championship of the season. So maybe after the game, maybe after the game, I'll grab some potatoes. But in the meantime, in between time, we're gonna put this slab of meat into the slow cooker. I am 100% improvising here. This drinking a Red Bull at 8 p.m., that sounds, that sounds healthy. I just parallel parked this car like a fucking boss. All right, so we're back from Rajul's games. He ended up having two, but they won. Um, and now it's like midnight and I'm gonna make some mashed potatoes. <laughs> and I also have some asparagus. Pro tip, if you want like really flavorful mashed potatoes, season the tits out of your water. Like use a bunch of chicken bouillon in there. It helps. I 
There's the completed meal. What time is it? Just a casual dinner at midnight. Well, it's actually 12.30, but it looks delicious and I'm excited to eat it. Anyways, this is gonna conclude my shenanigans for the evening, but I will see you guys in the morning. I lie. Never forget that I throw down in the motherfucking kitchen, okay? Hey guys! Guten Tag, I would say good morning, but it's not the fucking morning. I didn't end up going to bed until like a little bit after three last night. And um, I woke up at like almost 11, so it's lame. It's like 1 p.m. on Friday. I don't have a lot planned today, like as far as like work stuff. And I want to bring myself a little bit of joy. And something that I never ever do is like go shopping. I never, I don't really enjoy shopping that much. I more so like buying. I feel like I want to go buy like a new outfit, maybe get myself some food. Just a little treat yourself kind of day. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go to the mall, I think. Let's go to the mall. Let's go to the beach. Each, let's go get away. They say what they're gonna say. All right, so I just got to the mall and I forgot that it's Christmas season and it is packed. <laughs> let's do this. My problem is, if you put any rhinestones on anything, I'm gonna love it. Like, this is just a denim jacket with rhinestones, but now somehow I need it. Slay. Oh, they're really <laughs> nice. Oh, I think they're too long for me. All right, so I haven't found any, like, cute clothes, but, like, around the house stuff. And a pair of sweats. I'm really hopeful that these are gonna be, like, really loose-fitting. Most sweats are, like, joggers, and they're, like, tight. I'm willing to risk it. They look loose. I made it into Forever 21 and as usual, they, they have the heat, at least for me. And they do this thing where they dress up the mannequins and it helps like give me ideas on what to wear. I bought a bunch of shit and now my arm is getting really, really tired of carrying it. <laughs> I've gone a little overboard today. <laughs> All right, well, I'm, I'm done. I've had to cut myself off. Oh my God. Why would you ever be driving that fast down the fucking parking lot? Jesus Christ. I almost lost my life just now, but we're done. Slay the day. And I don't even know if I even like put together an outfit. I think I just bought like a bunch of random shit. I also parked like a dick. <laughs> Yo. Oops. That was exhausting. I feel like I just did a full shift at work. All right, well, obviously I'm home. Let's see some of the stuff I got. So I bought these shoes. I don't know how I feel about them. I think I like them a lot. I think I like them a lot. I didn't try them on and I just, I don't have an outfit for them. Forever 21 had a bunch of stuff on sale. So I got like six t-shirts for $5. Well, each one was $5. This one says buck off. This one was just like a basic gray crop. I don't know, it felt like a nice quality type fabric. <laughs> I don't know what compelled me to buy this one, but it was only $5. That's probably what it was. I was like, oh, $5? And it has little tassels on it? Slay. This shirt's from Target and it's also $5. Oh my God, it's so small. Oh my God, just the tiniest little top and the tiniest little sweater in history. The two-tone pink though, hey, what's good? Just so many shades of pink. This is a really cute little combo, I feel. And I got this little sweater. It's very whimsical. I don't usually buy white things because I stain the hell out of them, but I was feeling optimistic today. Yeah, I don't know why I bought this, but it was really sparkly and it was pink. And so I felt like this just might be a good thing to have in the closet. You never know when you're gonna need something super pink and super sparkly. And then I also got this pea coat because I don't have one. I don't have a pea coat. I always use my boyfriend's and it has like these huge padded shoulders. Dang, I'm glad everything fit because I didn't try anything on. It's cute. 
I managed to find a Z stocking for Zaza. And I also got a really comfy pair of sweats. Oh. So that's, that's all the stuff I got today. I was this close to having a mental breakdown. But instead of screaming and crying, um, I started cleaning my house. I'm so glad that I did because I'm feeling so much better. I literally just spent like the last two hours cleaning. Anyways, so now my brain is feeling a lot less stressed out. Listen, she did everything right. The choreography. <laughs> There's Rajul's play. Doesn't it look good? I really, I really just throw down in this kitchen sometimes. Okay, well that's all I have for you today. I will see you tomorrow. Okay, so today, good morning. <laughs> Babe, what's the date? Me. Yeah. Good night. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 9. <coughs> it's about 9.30 a.m. on Saturday. My big brother is coming over this morning to help me clean up my backyard. This is a moment of vulnerability, okay? My backyard is in shambles. There was so much rain last year that so much stuff grew in my backyard. And now there's like weeds and dog poop and just, it, it needs it needs some professional attention that I can't do myself. So my brother's gonna come and do that. But let me, uh, I'm not gonna show you the before and after. All right, so here's the yard. Currently. And then over here is where it gets really bad. <laughs> like none of this grass is supposed to be here. It's all brick. It's all supposed to be brick. So love that for me. This is what I'll be doing with my morning. For on one of my most recent YouTube videos, one of you guys asked how I make my green tea lemonade. So here it is. First things first, hot water, tea bags. This is the brand that I use. I also use, uh, I, the brand is not important to me. This is just the one that the store had at the time. So you brew the tea. This has been brewing for a little bit. Uh, it's up to you how long you wanna brew it. Country Time Powdered Lemonade, very important. The most important part of this process. As much as you want, it's all up to personal preference, truly. And then you ice it. And boom, green tea lemonade. <laughs> Well, this is all we're doing today. I'm calling it quits, but yeah, you know, 100% better. 100% better. I still have a lot of work to do back here, but I'm feeling it's manageable in my brain now. Okay, do not judge my dirty garage. I know it's a mess. All right, I'm currently trying to get a space set up for these dogs that I'm rescuing. Um, I mentioned it in a video a couple weeks ago that I saw these severely neglected dogs near a friend of mine's house and I've been working with the owner trying to get her to release them to me. So she's gonna let me buy them. It's unfortunate that she won't just let me take them. I am purchasing them with my own fucking money, but um, I just need to get them out of that situation. It's keeping me up at night. So for now, until I can find them like fosters or forever homes, they have to go into my garage. So I'm trying to set up a little area for them in my garage. So if anyone out there is in the SoCal area and you're interested in fostering or adopting, stay tuned, hit my line. I'm gonna need some help. <laughs> Well, it's definitely not the Hilton. Um, 
But anything is going to be better than the situation that they're in right now. They're literally being kept in little cages outside 24-7. The cages are so small. They can't even walk around in them. So, this is temporary. And it's better than nothing. Okay, gang. Well, I just got out the shower. It's like 4 p.m. I still need to edit this vlog and get it up by tomorrow. So, if you're still watching this video right now, comment. Unicorn. Because there's one on my little tree over there. There she is. Anyways, I will see you guys on Wednesday for the next installment of Vlogmas. Um, get ready to have some dog news because I am picking up the dogs tomorrow. Whoo, I'm a little nervous, but it's, it's all going to be okay. All right, guys, I love you. Make good choices. Be good to yourself. Be good to each other. I will see you on Wednesday.